everyone, it's Mindy here, and today I have a quick tutorial sharing with you how I resize my digi stamps in Photoshop and in Microsoft Word. The first thing we're going to do is go to File and find our image that we want to resize and open it. So now I'm going to go down to Image and edit the size. You want to make sure these check marks are checked so that way it scales the image, so you just have to change that first width to the 4.3 inches and it's going to resize it and not have to change the, the height. So now I'm going to open up an 8.5 by 11 sheet so that way I can see exactly where I want my digi and how it's going to show up and be printed on my paper. So I'm just going to drag it over, place it up towards the top of the paper so I'm utilizing the area. And now I'm going to show you how I can lighten the outline so you can do that no line technique if you prefer that come over here to the opacity and change the percentage of how dark it it the outline is so now we're gonna go over here to word do the same thing we're gonna go to open a picture find your digi stamp that you want to resize and open it then we're gonna come we're gonna right click and go to size change the size here to 4.3 it will automatically change the height and then we're going to position it can't move it on my paper so you're going to right click it again and we're going to switch it to square the inline text to square so that way I can move it anywhere on my paper so for this digi I'm actually doing a slimline card so there's not enough room here so I'm going to move the image down a little bit in this little turn I'm going to go ahead and turn it long ways so that way I have all this extra room so that way I have room to cut so I can get that slim so I can put it on a slim line sized card. So in order to get the no line technique here, you're going to right click again and you're going to recolor, go down to the light and they have other color options that you can use if you would prefer to do that. So then I all I do is just kind of move my image and just eyeball it there and that way I can put it exactly where I want on my paper and then after it's printed out I can trim it down to the size that I want. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I will be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching.